purpose of the British establishment. Our next are for our Russians are planning to rob Armour Cross from a factory in Birmingham. We know about the robbery. We have an informant. Now, your informant is working for them. They want you to know about the robbery. Well, I'm just using these other work as they want you to know about the robbery. Your informant is working for their instruction. Ваша сестра работает, согласно их указаниям. Why would they want us to know? They want you to. They want you to stop the robbery. They want you to commit a violent act on British soil. You want water? A violent act on British. Why are you telling us this? Because my family are the ones who will be sacrificed. We just had to blow up the train. The council wants to know who you are. He's Tommy Shelby. All right, guys. As you can see, man, this is, I'm in season, I think I'm in season three. You see, this is season three, episode four, man, of the Peaky Blinders. I, I've been seeing that name pop up for a lot. A lot of times, I just, you know, you look at the name, you kind of turns you off from it, man. But you have to look at it. just like Game of Thrones. Um, a lot of people watch The Walking Dead. I haven't really gotten into that personally. But Peaky Blinders, man. This guy, Tommy Shelby, um, started from nothing, man. Um, you know, um, uh, in, in Birmingham, I think this is um, somewhere is, is they're, they're British. And uh, he just started from nothing, man. It's war hero. It's war veteran. And he's built an empire, but the the stumbling blocks he's had to deal with, and all the adversarial forces that comes against him, man, uh, in the way he maneuvers, even in the way he handles pressure, is the one thing that I watch this video for. I like the way that he handles pressure, and I like to say that for men these days, and most men, especially young people, their emotional intelligence is from the the size of a of a of a mouse brain i mean we we just don't handle it we're so emotional and i just like to watch you know movies like this and episodes like this and tv shows and another one i like to watch is blacklist i just like the way guys handle pressure and adversity how how they're very strategic and tommy shelby he very strategic so anyway just chilling out. I got a couple of clients a little later, but I want to do this video primarily for um, people that have been asking me um, about my um, keto pizza. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have a, uh, you know, I do have a background as being a chef. I worked with U.S. Dining Services for years and in different capacities of, you know, cooking. I'm always been known for cooking or anything like that and grilling. I ran my own business, um, um, selling barbecue and doing um, um, catering services. Um, I've been doing that for a while in my in my younger years. And, um, and so I kind of gotten away from that, but I incorporate that into the fitness realm. Cause I believe, I believe without a shout, I believe 150% that you cannot out train a bad nutritional diet setup. I don't like to say diet, but it is what it is. And so what I mean by that, give me an example. I've seen people go to the gym consistently for years. I'm talking about six, seven days a week, nonstop. They can do advanced ab routines. They can live with the best of them. Their endurance is pretty much good. I can't really say the overall performance because I'm not sitting in the gym watching them all day, every day. 
but for the from what I see, they're pretty much um, able to withstand or endure some pretty tough workouts. But if you were to see them in the public, they don't look like it. You will see them in the public, they you couldn't tell they go gym. You might see a little aspect of some growth in different areas that most people walk around don't have unless they're genetically inclined. But for the most part, these guys, these people don't look like you. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because of their nutrition. Honestly, hands down. When I train clients and when I do their follow-up, I guarantee you that every time I know based upon their results, because it's a system, their diet or the nutrition is not where it needs to be. It's usually always 99.9.4.33% that their nutrition is always an issue with. Um, now, I have very rare clients that nutrition is the easiest part, but it's the training part of it, you know. But um, just a little update on me. I'm, uh, for those of you who do not know, and a lot of you do know, I'm going on another cut, and I'm trying to maintain as much lean muscle as I can. So my training is dictated upon my diet. So I go pretty heavy and pretty consistent with it for the past two weeks. I'm about in my second week. No carbs. Keto life. Hey, man, I love keto. All right, fam. Let's get started. Here goes some of the items and ingredients you're gonna need. I got the mild cheddar cheese right here. I got the mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, eggs. I got the Newman's own marinara sauce. No sugar added. Measuring cup medium sized bowl spoon some parchment paper of course an oven and a pan to put it on so uh, got some space on there but parchment pan to put it on all right